Hello everyone. So let's talk about fat. No, not what we have on our body, but the fat that we eat. Since the low fat, high carb craze that started around the 60s and 70s, overweight and obesity rates have skyrocketed along with uh, tons of other health issues and autoimmune conditions. Fats, healthy fats, are not your foe and they can be very trustworthy and needed friend. It's essential you replace irritating, unhealthy fats in your dietary plan with healthy ones. As this is relevant to you, whether you're dealing with diagnosed chronic conditions or digestive and uh, GI related symptoms like stomach pain, gas and bloating, IBS, or even non-GI um, related uh, symptoms such as fatigue, uh, chronic pain, uh, joint pain and muscle weakness, eczema and skin conditions, brain fog, and more. The list goes on and on. So let me ask you a question. Canola and corn oils are touted as healthy. Are they really? The answer is no. Vegetable oils like canola, corn, soybean, cottonseed are not part of a healthy dietary plan. If you want to be part of hearing more in-depth information about topics like this and get more personal, be a part of our private Facebook group. It's called Freedom from Chronic Symptoms. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about me. Full disclosure, I bought into the low-fat uh, dietary crazy plan I mentioned earlier. I focused on a low-fat um, diet for close to 30 years. Oh, and on top of that, I was vegan for a couple of decades. Wow. I did so much harm to my body. That's right, lots of harm with all that. I had nutrient deficiencies, gut and hormone problems, and so much more. I wasn't until I began eating healthy fats, even in large amounts, clean sourced animal protein again, um, and removed all the inflammatory foods that I was eating that I really had significant positive changes in my health. So I too have made some serious blunders in my eating, but I have learned from those mistakes mistakes others have made, and from studies that show what it really means to have a healthy dietary plan. So when it comes to fat, eating healthy fats is essential for good health. And in this content, I'm going to cover three facts about fats. I'm going to talk about the types of fats and a big myth around them, healthy fats and benefits. And number three, I'm going to talk about cooking guidelines. So you use your use of healthy fats doesn't make them unhealthy. So let's dive in. So fats fall under three categories, saturated, unsaturated, and trans fats. Now, one thing that's important for you to know is that it has been shown that saturated fats do not cause heart and cardiovascular disease as promoted for decades. Saturated fats can actually be very healthy. Saturated comes from both animal and plant-based. The saturated fats that come from animals are quite healthy as long as they, are, they come from a healthy source. And um, that healthy source from animals would be like grass-fed, pasture-raised, organic animals. The reason this is so important is that toxins are stored in fat. So fat cells can be factories for inflammation. So if the source is not, a source is not healthy, you will consume those unhealthy elements in the fat that you eat. So plant-based saturated fats come from items such as coconut oil and palm oil. Now, another key is that trans fats are some of the unhealthiest fats there are. A very small, actually very small amount of trans fats are actually found in beef and dairy items, but unless you're consuming an extreme amount, um, that's not a concern. It's really the artificial trans fats that are terribly unhealthy, and they're namely found in processed foods. They're usually made from unhealthy vegetable oils and include hydrogenated oil. Now, let's talk about the benefits of healthy fats. Healthy fats must be consumed to build optimal health. I mean, if you want ideal health, you have to consume healthy fats. Um, of course, there's gonna be rare occasions where someone has to manage a, a low fat, fat dietary plan. Um, that is gonna be rare for certain conditions, but it still needs to be based on healthy fats. Now, um, many degenerative diseases are significantly influenced by eating habits and lifestyle. So, um, Diseases and conditions including cancer and diabetes and cardiovascular disease and brain health all benefit from consumption of healthy fats. Uh, the third item that I wanted to talk about is cooking guidelines. 
So your use of healthy fats doesn't make them unhealthy. That's right, we can actually make a healthy fat unhealthy by the way we use it. So different fats, uh, fats can handle different temperatures of, high, of heat. Um, that's called the smoke point. And for any fat, once it begins to smoke, it releases free radicals. You've probably heard that term before. And free radicals are harmful to us. And healthy fats that are good for high heat, whether it's on the stove top or uh, baking, those that work with high heat are coconut oil, avocado oil, uh, liquid coconut oil, and any animal fats such as butter, ghee, lard, and tallow. Now those healthy fats that are better utilized with moderate heat, which would be more lighter heat, lower heat saute, are olive oil and sesame oil. And those that should be used only cold are generally the nut and seed oils, except of course for the sesame oil that I just mentioned. So after watching this, you learned three key items about fats, the type of fats and a big myth, which is not true, right? That saturated fat is bad for you because it's just not true health benefits um, or healthy fats and their benefits. And the third is you learned cooking guidelines so you can use healthy fats um, in a healthy way. Now, if you really need some help to have relief from the nasty health issues, I can help you. Feel free to reach out to me so, um, um, so you can have a, or set up a free consultation. Until next time, God bless you and have a wonderful day.